Okay, here are the four traces that we got off of the four switches that's inside the transmission range sensor. Now, if you remember, the blue trace is L1 switch, red trace is L2, the green trace is L3, and the gold looking trace uh, at the bottom is L4. Now, for some of you, these here traces looking at them, it might look like a lot of gobbledygook, but uh, you know, we don't have a lot of time on this uh, video to go into a oscilloscope tutorial. But I'll break it down as uh, hopefully you'll be able to understand what's going on with them. Okay, let's take a look and uh, let's zoom in on this uh, area on the left a little bit. Okay, if you take a look over there on the left, if you see the three, uh, four traces, blue, red, green, and gold, and it's the one that's highlighted right now, look at the level that they're at. They are all at a zero volt level. Now this is where I had the ignition switch off. Okay, so all of these traces right now are at zero volts. Now take a look at the green trace where I have an arrow pointing to it. Notice how the level of that is higher than the other one that was at zero volts. Now when you see the level up high like that, that's going to be 12 volt DC. And that's going to be the same for all of the other traces. Now take a look at the bottom of your screen. Now, the, the, the traces are drawn from left to right. Where if you look at the very bottom of the screen, this is going to be, be representing time. Now, the screen total time is 50 seconds. But right now, you're only seeing 40 seconds because I'm zoomed in a little bit on the traces. Now, if you look at the lower left, you can see a zero. 5, 10, 15, all the way to 40. This is in seconds. Now take a look at the green trace. You see it starts at 0 seconds. It goes over to the right. And then about, oh, let's say about 12 seconds, you can see that the trace goes immediately straight up, hitting 12 volts. Now that we have a uh, enough information to decipher this here waveforms. Let's take a look at each transition of where we put it in each gear and take a look and see what we have. So we'll go back to a full screen so we can see all of the waveforms here. And we'll go ahead and take the signal chart and we'll stick him up in the top left corner so we'll have him there for reference as we're looking at these waveforms. Alright, take a look at the green trace where it goes from low 0 volts all the way up to 12 volts. This is where I had the ignition switch turned on and the car was in park. Now let's take a look at our values of voltage. On the blue trace we see 0, red 0, and on the green trace we see 12 volts, and on the gold trace we see 0 volts. Okay, now one thing that I see right now in this park is that take a look at the green trace where it's falling down to zero. Now the next gear, the transition, uh, is already rising up. An L4 switch on the goal, you see it's starting to come up before the park comes down. So there's a little bit of interreaction there. These waveforms should be lined up with each other. So that looks like a issue right there. Okay, moving right along, let's look at the reverse position. On the blue trace, zero. Red, zero. Green, zero. Gold, 12 volts. Now, as I'm reading these out, just take a look over there to the chart to your left to verify that we are uh, having the right uh, voltages on each one of these switches. Okay, for the neutral position. On the blue, we have zero. On the red, we have 12 volts. On the green, zero. On the gold, zero. Okay, let's do the drive position. On the blue trace, 12 volts. Red trace, 12. Green, 12. Gold, zero. So that one looks okay. Okay, let's start with the D3 position. On the blue trace, 
I got a high volts, 12 volts. Red, 12 volts. Green, 0 volts. Gold, 12 volts. And that looks okay also. Okay, D2 position. Blue trace, 12 volts. Red trace, 0 volts. Green trace, 12 volts. Gold trace, 12 volts. That looks okay. D1 position. On the blue trace, 0 volts. Red trace, 12. Green, 12. Gold, 12. And that looks fun. Okay, we're going back up into gears now. We're on the D2 position. Blue is 12 volts. Red is 0 volts. Green, 12 volts. Gold, 12 volts. And he looks fine. Okay, D3 position. Blue is 12 volts, red 12 volts, green 0 volts, gold 12 volts, and he looks good. Okay, we're in the drive position now. Blue trace 12 volts, red trace 12 volts, green trace 12 volts, gold trace 0 volts, and he looks good. Alright, we're in the neutral position now. On the blue trace, 0 volts, red 12 volts, green, 0 volts, gold, 0 volts, and he looks good. Okay, now we have the reverse position. On the blue trace, 0 volts, red, volt, red trace, 0 volts, green, 0 volts, gold, 12 volts, and he looks good. Okay, this is the last one. This is the park position. The blue is 0 volts. The red, 0 volts. Green, 12 volts. And the gold, 0 volts. And he looks good. Okay, this is the last one. This is where I turn the ignition switch off and if you look at all the traces, they're all back to 0 volts. Okay, so what do I not like about the waveforms? Take a look at the green trace. Do you see that spike coming down? That's a dropout. Or we could say that's a glitch. Maybe I, maybe I should uh, contact the government and see if that's the correct word to use in this. Yeah, that's a glitch. It's only lasting for a few microseconds here. Take a look in the last pulse down there on the green trace. You see there's another one. This here has plenty of time to settle out for contact bouncing. So that's an uh, issue I don't like. If you take another look at the blue trace, you don't see anything going on up there. You don't see anything going on up in the red trace. Okay, another thing I don't like. Take a look at the gold trace down at the bottom. Do you, also, do you see the, the where the first uh, rising edge is coming up? Compare that to the falling edge that's falling down. They should be coinciding. Take a look around and look at the others and see how they all line up. Now take a look down at the very end of the gold trace where the, where the, uh, where the voltage is falling down. That's on the right hand side. See how it's not coinciding with the green trace that's going up? So it uh, looks like there's a little bit of an issue going on on that. So we're going to go ahead and replace this uh, sensor, this transmission rain sensor. And we're going to take a look at uh, the waveforms again and see what this here looks like. Okay guys, this uh, going to wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you didn't enjoy it, then I would say don't get a scope. Because this is pretty much a lot of analysis that you'll be looking at. Um, if you do have any questions about it though, just uh, holler out and let me know. And in the next video, we're going to be putting this uh, rain sensor on there. There is an adjustment procedure for it, so we'll go over that a little bit. And the last thing in words that I can leave to every one of you is to be sure to have a super great weekend. And I hope everything goes y'all's way. Take care, guys.